are just days away from the first closure of 696 here in Oakland County. Of course, the big project in Macomb is already underway. And tonight, we're taking you behind the scenes. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury is in Warren with a look at what they're doing with all the old concrete from the freeway. Construction for 696 has been going on for weeks, and now we're getting a little bit of a closer look on the work that's been taking place and how they're taking the old concrete and putting it to good use. I think we're making good progress. We're using the old road to rebuild our new road. Alan Ostrowski is a construction engineer for MDOT. He's giving us a closer look at the work being done on the 696 construction project. We're on the westbound side between 75 and 94. You can see the concrete has been removed and ready to be reused thanks to a concrete crusher. And it's been proven to provide a suitable base material for new roads. The old concrete is about 40 years old. MDOT officials say the new road could last just as long, maybe even longer. By crushing the removed concrete into stone and using it as a base material underneath the new pavement, that saves crews time and money. And Allen says it's better for the environment. We don't want large piles of broken concrete that really have limited use just sitting around. The pavement gets pulled off the road from the closed side of the road. It gets hauled here, broken down, remixed, and taken back out on the road. And the big question all drivers have at this point, when will the 696 construction project be complete? Well, MDOT officials are aiming for November. I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. Thank you, Sima. 696 will close for the first time in Oakland County on June 1st. The westbound lanes will be closed until the 4th from DeQuinder to Telegraph. We have detours posted on WXYZ.com.